In this video, I'll show you how to replace a fuel rail pressure sensor. Trouble code P0191. Okay, first of all, you want to take your 8 mil socket and take out these bolts, or at least loosen them up so they're ready to go. Once those are loosened, pull on this to take this off, this tube. That sends the gas through. And then press down on this top of here. We'll release this clip. There we go. Okay. Now you should be able to get the rest of it by hand. Take those out. And there we have it. There's the pressure sensor out. And now we're going to put the new one in. Alright, make sure this O-ring, this blue O-ring down here, make sure it's pushed all the way down. It can come up a bit when you pull the old pressure sensor out, so make sure it's pushed down nice and tight. You can use this thing to do it also. Use the end part to press on the, around the outside of the O-ring, make sure she's nice and snug. And then clean the top off, get any dirt off of there. Stick it down there and reapply the screws. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, once this is nice and tight, give it a wiggle, see if it is, and then put this back in, wait for a click. Check it, it's secured. Now reattach this tube. There we go. Usually you don't need uh, anything around here to hold it. Usually it'll just stay on by itself, but you could put a little band around there too if you really want it to be safe. Attach a band there, and you should be good to go. And that's how you install a new pressure sensor. Okay, it might start a little poorly the first time, so make sure the coat is cleared. Erase codes, yeah, let's see. Read codes, pending codes, yeah. Fuel rail sensor, pressure sensor, P0191. So I'm gonna erase that. There we go, erase done.